Next up on Unity Live at GDC, we're talking Unity and Visual Studio. Hello, uh, and welcome back to Unity Live at GDC. Uh, Will and I are joined by Miguel from Microsoft Visual Studio. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, folks. Yes. It's Hello. a pleasure Great to be to here. Have you here. Yes, and I like your shirt. It's, oh, uh, it's a fantastic you very shirt. Much. I'm all in pink today. Uh, well, pink Maybe Ranger. I can get one of those. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, uh, Unity 2018. Mm -hmm. We're now seeing that we're shipping with Microsoft Visual Studio. That's right. Um, so, what does this mean for our development community, specifically our Mac users, of course? Right. So. Uh, uh, Unity developers that have been using Visual Studio on Windows mm. uh, have enjoyed the debugging capabilities and uh, you know code completion and you know a, a great IDE experience when you're using uh, both the tools combined, Visual Studio and Unity. And we're uh, we're now bringing all those capabilities to uh, Visual Studio for Mac. So essentially, uh, now you'll have an option to uh, to upgrade the existing Mono Develop IDE. It's still the same core, but we're bringing all the extra capabilities like uh, debugging and project templates and and the wizards and the code completion that people expected mm -hmm. um, uh, to Visual Studio for Mac. And we've worked, I mean, I'll be honest, we've been working on performance and startup speed <laughs> and all those things that developers care about. So we heard people loud and clear. Uh, we've been working on that and we hope that the experience will be a lot better for everybody. So, uh, so that's what we're doing. Uh, we're incredibly uh, happy with the partnership we got going with Unity. Uh, you know, uh, I think it's, uh, you know, the energy that Unity commands in industry is just, uh, is just tremendous, and uh, we'd love to be part of that. So you know, hopefully our tools will be something that people enjoy using on both Windows and Mac. So I mean, you, you launched, uh, I remember, like, was it maybe a year or two ago now that you launched Visual Studio Code, like the kind of cut down version uh -huh. on yes. Mac, and so this is, but this is more fully featured. Right, this is the ID. Visual Studio Code is the, uh, is the, tech, is the editor, and it's an editor with smarts, and it's extensible. It has a lot of capabilities. And in fact, people can also use it with Unity. This is the full IDE experience, the full debugger integration. Uh, many of the things that we've been doing with Unity, so we, we, we tend to do the Visual Studio in a collaboration with the IDE group. Mm -hmm. And on the other side of the house, we've been working with Unity on the runtime part of it. Oh, okay. So we've been, uh, we've been uh, working with the team at Unity, Jonathan Chambers and his team, uh, to upgrade Mono from a version, the runtime engine that, uh, that was quite a bit old to the latest version. Yeah. And what is fascinating about this is, one, developers will get access to the latest version of the c -sharp compiler, so a big upgrade on the, on the compiler, on the, the capabilities and the kind of software they can write. So this is just massive. And uh, I am personally very excited about a capability that Unity, actually Joachim, uh, the CTO of Unity, advocated very strongly with Microsoft uh, for performance result called, called ref returns. So yep. this thing is coming. Um, so you know, we heard Joachim, <laughs> and we put those <laughs> things in the language. So Unity affected the language design of C Sharp and going to the runtime, going back to Unity. Um, so, uh, so we're upgrading the language, we're upgrading the libraries and the entire okay. ecosystem. And what is very interesting about this work is that for the first time, uh, .NET developers can share the same code base between server, Unity, mobile, embedded systems. Uh, it's a technology we call uh, .NET standard. Okay. And it's essentially one API. So if you're willing to use this subset of the API of .NET, the same binary works on absolutely every platform. So, oh, wow. so the value of that is, uh, is really working on the server. And, uh, and when you were asking the question, how does this compare with Visual Studio Code? Yeah. So the IDEs, what they're very good at is uh, coordinating multiple uh, sources of information and multiple targets. So one of the features that we're introducing, in fact, this week is uh, there's a marketing name for this, and I'm going to mess it up. <laughs> I call it orchestrated debugging, but it's the ability for Visual Studio to debug both your game code and the server code that you deploy. Oh, so okay. when you build Unity games, you can say, hey, this is going to run on the, on the iPhone, and I'm going to build, this is my, my server side, where yep. my players are going to play. And you used to be able to both debug this on one side and then start another session with the other one and kind of jump back and forth, and it was kind of obnoxious. 
uh, now you can use a single IDE session to debug both. So you can single step from the client to the server and put breakpoints on both sides. So we think uh, this is the kind of thing that developers would love. So they're just gonna, if, you, if you're debugging both at the same time, mm -hmm. if you hit the bug, you're going to see which side it's on? Yes. Oh, that's yes, pretty yes, cool. Yes. So I, there's a name. There's a technical name for this. I always get it wrong. <laughs> uh, I just call it orchestrating debugging because that's, that's what it feels it's like. But there's a, there's a proper name for this somewhere. We can just flash it on the screen. <laughs> the yeah. name yes, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll Google it up or somebody will. We're going to despite this being live. Don't worry <laughs> yes. about it. Um, cool. And so, so what's, what's coming next for, for these Visual Studio tools? Like, what can people expect when they download it? Well, the, uh, I mean, in, in particular, the first thing is that you'll be able to, get to, to start using Visual Studio for Mac today. Uh, awesome. We, we, we have a couple of things that are, are coming down the pipe. Um, in particular, and this is a, another collaboration that we have uh, going with Unity, is, uh, is, the, is bringing all the debugging capabilities to the static compiler from Unity. It's called mm -hmm. IL2CPP. Yes. So IL2CPP uh, is going to get, it's getting the new debugger protocol support. Let me explain this. I mean, maybe, I don't know how many of, of the audience Please really care about these things, too, but yeah, the debugging the way that the debugger talks to Unity uh, was based on a, on a protocol that we designed maybe some eight years ago. And it was a very simple protocol. Hey, stop here, stop there, set a breakpoint here, tell me the value of a variable. And over time, uh, uh, we've evolved this protocol and we added many capabilities. So for example, if you needed to examine a complex data structure, instead of, instead of going back and forth, uh, Give me the first element, give me the second element, give me the third element, give me the fourth element. So if you have 500 of these elements, this would just take forever. Yeah. It would feel yeah. almost like the IDE hung, yeah. right? So we've done a lot of optimizations to the protocol so we can say, I want to have all the data for this complex data structure. Maybe an element on the screen, maybe it's a monster on the screen, right? Okay. And instead of doing all this ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, the protocol has been updated, so you can say, I want all of this information about this target, right? So the, the protocol was extended in this and many other ways. Uh, and it makes the debugging experience uh, a lot better, a lot faster, more reliable. So a lot of the, the complaints that uh, people had over the years uh, are being all addressed uh, with this debugger protocol upgrade. So it's kind of down in the vowels of the machine, right? So it's not <laughs> something you see every day. Uh, as a user, you're probably like, oh, this is pretty smooth, right? Absolutely. Oh, this is very nice. Uh, behind the scenes, there's a tremendous effort on, uh, on a lot of people to make this a very pleasant experience. Mm. So, um, so that is coming, and it's coming both to the existing mono-based runtimes and also the IL to CPP-based runtimes. Cool. Um, so anyways, it's a, you know, it's a journey, uh, it's a journey, and we plan on, uh, we're very happy that we, we can be part of the Unity journey, and uh, we, we're, we're hoping to continue to be part of the Unity journey, and, <laughs> I hope uh, so too. you know, working <laughs> in parallel, right? I think, uh, I think we want to see, we don't want .NET developers or C-sharp developers to feel frustrated, and Unity is such a large portion of those developers that we need to do anything in our power to uh, for them to be happy and successful and uh, have a frictionless experience, right? So, mm. so that's, uh, that's what we're doing. Awesome. Yeah. Miguel, thank you for explaining all of yeah. that. Thank you, oh. yeah. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> intense. Super thank you. Thank you. Um, and if people uh, want to download uh, Visual Studio for Mac, is it out right now? Or well, that's a nice thing. Now when you install the new update, uh, the new Unity update, you just pick uh, Visual Studio for Mac. Yeah. So 2018.1, it. yes. it'll be right 2018 there. 2018.1, yes. That's awesome. As someone who suffered through Unitron <laughs> and Monodevelop, uh, former oh, ideas, <laughs> this is uh, this is really growing pains. It's like it's like the teenagers, you know. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how your teenagers were, but I'm uh, still in them. tough. So it's uh, we're getting out of those. It's uh, you know it's now smooth sailing from now on. Awesome, awesome. And are you guys around at the show for those people who are lucky enough to be at GDC if they want to talk? Yes, to you about that? if you're around, I, I'll be at the Microsoft booth. Uh, I'll also be attending sessions, and I'm uh, I'm going to be uh, by the Unity booths, you know, talking to people. Awesome, so I'll be around. You now you know what it looked like. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> visit this man. Yeah, thank cool. you. Oh, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so pleasure. much for coming on the show. Thank you very much. Great really to see you. Really great to meet Thanks you. Thanks for having me.